Have you ever wondered why your videos aren't getting clicks they deserve? Well, I hear ya. It's incredibly frustrating watching your hard work go unnoticed. But did you know that your thumbnails and titles are the secret weapons to get clicks? In today's video, we're going to create stunning thumbnails like this one or this one using only Canva. We're going to focus on those eye-catching, glowing effects. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Alright, before we get into the nitty-gritty of creating thumbnails, I just want to quickly mention that this kind of glowing effect might not be suitable for everyone. If your channel is about lifestyle, vlogging, or like cooking related content, the glowing effect might not be suitable for you. On the other hand, if your channel is about AI, cryptocurrency, gaming, make money online, or entrepreneurship, this glowing effect can really make your thumbnails pop. All right, enough chatting right now. Let's get into my screen and let me show you how. All right, after you're logged into your Canva account, click on create a design and choose YouTube thumbnail. So it's 1280 by 720 pixels. Now we have a new Canva and you can either start with some of the templates of uh, YouTube thumbnails or you can start with just a dark background. Yeah, you can choose some dark background that will go with our glowing effect here, but for me, I'm just going to start with some of the uh, templates here. So I'm going to type in tech and just choose one that I like. Mm, let's see. Yeah, we can go with this one. Okay. So after we have the template, we'll remove some things we don't want. So I will just keep the title and subtitles. And I'll keep this subscribe button here. Okay, so I'll create a new page and now we want to work on our uh, photo. So I've already uploaded some of my photos here, as you can see, with all kind of uh, different expressions. And what I did was that I basically, I just stood in front of a, um, a blank wall and then with some ring light or some natural light and a, a tripod, I take a lot of my own pictures. So, you know, when I'm creating a new thumbnail for my YouTube channel, I can just pull up one that I think is suitable. So this way you don't need to go take a new photo whenever you're in need of a new thumbnail. And you can also take a video of yourself, you know, doing all kinds of movements like smiling or like pointing because we have sometimes our titles here this or shock expression you can like what i did was i made a list of all the expressions uh, i need for future thumbnails and whenever i'm creating one thumbnail i just pick one that it is suitable and it works quite well so i would suggest that you try out this method all right so let's go back to our thumbnail creation so I'm going to use this photo right here. And when you upload it, you will need to first remove the background. And if you have a Canva Pro account, it's pretty simple because just click on edit photo and then use the BG remover. So the background remover, and it will automatically create like a pretty clean photo without background. But if you don't have the Canva Pro account, you can also use some of the free tools such as this one pixlr.com so as you can see you can just upload your photo here and then you can just remove with ai and the next one is remove.bg this also works and once you have a um, picture of yourself without the background we can start working on it and create a glow effect so next you want to do is to click on the photo and edit photo again then we'll scroll down and find under the effects shadows choose glow and we'll choose the white color here then we'll adjust the settings of size blur amount and intensity until we are satisfied with the results so let's see do something like this more intensity and of course you will always need to put it back to the background and to see how it matches Okay, so now we'll just stick with this and we'll adjust later. 
let's come back to our background. So you want to have like a dark background here, like this template. And the next, I always just add some glow to it. So I usually add two glows. One is more like a color that will match the background. So this one in this case is blue. And also I will add one uh, white glow. So let me show you. I'll do a blue glow and I think it's more, let's see. It's more like a color. I mean, this one will work. Uh, let's see if there are other suitable ones. Uh, so yeah, keep in mind that I have a pro account, so I do have a lot more choices when it comes to elements, but you can also work with what you have or even go like find other resources in like stock photo websites and etc. But it's very convenient when you have the pro account, so you have access to a lot more elements here. So I'm going to choose this one and I will make it a little bit bigger because later we'll put our person here so it will create like a good contrast between the person and the background so now we have the blue one let's go and grab a white one so yeah let's do this one simple okay oops now i think it looks good let's try to put our person Um, I think we can use more glow, so I'll put the person back, okay, and let me just make everything even bigger. This one as well. Oops, it's so big. Okay, uh, I'll put it here. Then put the person back. Okay, now I quite like this look, but I think the the glow like just beside me can be a little bit stronger. So well, but it's actually almost the maximum already. So I'll increase the size. Maybe play with the blur mount here, and. And here you go, the glow effect. But keep in mind, this is no Photoshop. So you cannot create those like subtle uh, glow effect on the hair or on the face. This you do need like more advanced um, tools like Photoshop. But for me, this is already quite good because if you, if I show you something without the, the glow effect, let's have a look. Uh, I'll just remove everything. Oops, I cannot. Yeah, okay, here we go. And even remove the glow here. And we'll compare the two. And you can see when you're scrolling, you will see this one a lot more than this one because there's practically no contract between the person and the background. So that's why the glow effect is so powerful. Yep, you can clearly see the difference here. All right, now that you know how to create these thumbnails with glowing effects, it was actually pretty easy, right? We will also try to reproduce some of the thumbnails of established YouTubers. So let's have a look at some of the channels that have this kind of effects. The first one I found was Dave Nick. So he has a uh, content about, you know, affiliate marketing or like how to make money online. And this is a great niche with this kind of glowing effect. But as you can see, he doesn't even have like the glow, kind of the contour beside the person. He just has this glowing light behind. And for me, this looks also really good. Like it's even more natural sometimes. So it really depends on what kind of aesthetic that you're going after. But uh, let's also look at a few more channels. So this one, Dap University. And his channel is mostly cryptocurrency but also like uh, I think some 
maybe AI content. Yeah, but mostly blockchain, cryptocurrency. And this also is, you know, related to technology. So it's a great niche for this kind of glowing effect. And let's just have a look at some of his videos. As you can see, this glowing effect here, the glowing effect here. And, you know, of these, uh, he uses a lot of green, as we can see. And it's very, very eye catching. So, yeah, we'll try to reproduce it in this video. And the third one is Make Money Matt. So, great thumbnails. Uh, all I can say is, just very very eye-catching but as you can see like some of the the glowing effects um, it's very clear that it's not made with Canva but we can try to produce something in the same vibe all right so let's go back to our Canva and then we'll try to reproduce some of the thumbnails here but keep in mind I'm not telling you to copy someone else's thumbnail it's never a good idea but it's a good idea for you to practice your design skills you know because sometimes it's really hard when you're staring at this blank canva you're like where do i start but if you have like kind of a model uh, beside you then you can quickly put something together it's just like learning to sketch like sometimes we'll look at nature look at um, a tree or something and we'll try to like recreate something similar and that's exactly what we're doing here. All right, so with that said, let's start with the first one. So let's try to create this one with my face. I will use it as, a, as an inspiration. And let's choose something maybe, I think I'll just use the same, okay? So I'll do everything really quick this time so you can see how I do things from scratch. I'm adjusting the size here. I'm going to create the glow. And this one, the glow effect is another color. As we can see here, it's more like an orange, yellowish color. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna increase the size, blur amount, and more intensity. So that looks quite good. I'm gonna call out a uh, as you can see, like there's some like fire background. So let's have a look if we have that here. Uh, let's see. So I found one that maybe I like. I just want to adjust this a little bit more bright and maybe different. Um, I wanted more yellow-ish. Okay, this is good. More light. Yeah, something like this, but we're just doing this really quickly, so... I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna send it back. And I'm gonna call out a Bitcoin. Okay, let's see, it's something that's a little bit tilted, yeah, I think this will work. Yeah, the background is still too orange-ish, but uh, maybe we can have some filters. Yeah, I guess this one will work. It's really not perfect, but... We're just creating an example here. So let's see. And now we want a red arrow. This is perfect. And I just want to adjust the, the picture a little bit more, a little bit lighter, a little bit more contrast and here you have it. Yeah, I just realized that I forgot to add a, uh, a glow to this person. So let's do this. Uh, we're gonna look for a glow directly. This is a yellowish uh, orange one. Let's see. 
orange. Ah, this color is perfect. So make it bigger. Then place it to the back. And yeah, this looks great. We'll move on to the next one. We have this one from Make Money Matte. Okay, so same, I'll use this as a model. And I will choose a photo, maybe this one this time. So same, you want to remove background. Okay, it's taking a little bit of time. Then uh, for the background, we have like a purple background, purple kind of interior. Let's see if we can find something. Okay. Take a look at photos. Okay, they're all kind of bright. Let's see if I say tech. Yeah, it's not going to be the same, but we can we can work with these. I would choose. Yeah, maybe just this one. OK. So here we have our background and then let's make our person glow as usual. This time we've got kind of a bright purple. Okay, uh, I don't like this color. Let's change it. Yeah, it's more really a purple. So this looks great. I'll put it onto the background. Oops, why the glow just disappear? I have no idea. Okay, let's do it again. So as you practice, you will go a lot faster more intensity. Perfect. Okay, I'll still add a glow. Graphics. Let's try this one. Okay, that's perfect. Make it bigger and we'll bring our person to the front. Oops. Uh, oh. Okay, I'll bring this to the back. Yeah. So this looks pretty good. I think the glow is a little bit big, so I'm gonna make it and maybe even lighter purple. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's take a look at our model again. So yeah, definitely this one was not created with Canva, but we can just try to get the vibe here. So he has some YouTube um, logos here. Let's try to find it. YouTube. OK, something similar. Let's see. Uh, OK. Here's one that we can change color. So I'm just going to use that. OK. Duplicate, make it smaller, the other one, turn it a little bit, put it in the back. Perfect. Now just the text. I want to grab this text, create your YouTube channel. We'll type something for our title. Ooh, 
look for a font that's kind of in the same vibe. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just showing you how it works. Right, this looks okay. Uh, maybe I want three lines. Great. And then just one arrow. Flip it and place it in this good uh, area. I'll make this smaller. And voila! So I always just adjust the picture at last so you can match with the brightness of this thumbnail. So a little bit brighter, a little bit more contrast, and this looks perfect. Okay, move on to our last one. Let's bring it on. Uh, where was it? The upload. So it was this one, okay? From our friend Dave Nick. Okay, so same process. Let's choose a photo first. I'll go with this one. So color adjust, a little bit more brightness. You can do this before and after. Then remove background. Create a glow effect. Oh, actually this one doesn't even have a contour so we're not gonna do it we're just going to look for the glow directly and it's green one so I think this one will be perfect okay bring to the front then you just place the person directly here yeah for me this looks really good too it's more natural in a sense then we want some text so this one we can see it's a little bit gradient so we're gonna try to create the same effect and now in canva you can do this you go to app oh uh, okay type gradient it's called type gradient Oops. Yeah, so I already installed it. If you haven't, just install it and you can use it. Okay, the, the text is going to be uh, 10,000. We're going to do 100. Why not? Then here you can choose the font. I'm going to do something. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep the current one just to save us some time. Then you want to choose a color. So we can observe this one. It's more like yellowish on the top and then more like a apple green in the bottom. So we'll do the same. Also in the middle, like uh, something like this. And we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. But I still maybe want to choose a font that's more uh, similar to this one. So let's do this. Mm. Something, oh, maybe this one. Okay. Uh, it's not exactly that. So let's keep looking. Something that's bold and Let's see. Yeah, if you know already what kind of fonts you want, it will go a lot faster. But I just want to try something here. Yeah, I guess this one is good enough. 
let's add to the design. So you have the text here that looks great. Then there's like a highlight. We'll add that. Yeah, it's just like a red line here. I'll place it here. Then I'll type today. Or let's say per month. Okay, choose something else. Let's see. I like poppins. Let's try this. This is like a very standard uh, font that I use very often. And then we've got a button here. Just a very basic green one will do. And then say for free. Place it on the button. And at last, always adjust your picture a little bit more so it can have more contrast, a little bit more bright. And more of a vibrant too. And there you have it. Here's our third thumbnail. So I hope this uh, exercise has helped you. And you can try and find your favorite like YouTuber and try to create thumbnails like theirs and then adapt to your own style. So it works really well and I hope you liked it. Isn't it incredible that today we can just use simple tools like Canva to create thumbnails that can draw people's attention? And what's even crazier is that there are tons of tons of AI tools out there, such as AI voiceover, AI video editing, and even AI eye contact. So you can literally just read your script and it will correct your eye contact. Isn't it crazy? And you know what? I'll be presenting all of these in my channel. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right now to stay up to date. All right, with that said, I'll see you in the next video.